the stage three here. Looking to be an A hit. Leaf pushes up. As the Devourer is available, no Leers to play with. Sloppy finds the first. Now the second to come on through. That one goes the way of Mitch and that wall going to slow down a rotation for just a moment. The shots go wide. The spike goes down. And now the retake for Foxy. Well, only three stand tall. Oh, trying to knife down this wall. Leaf fully aware. And I like this aggression. The Reina player can always get something done. Is it Zeppa looking to take the fight towards screens? And that wall is about to break on the outside, and I think it did. They swing around the corner. One kill in response. Heard once more. A bulldog picked up by Leaf. Gonna bring a bit more power into the bonus. As the first kill swings their way, the run and gun. Not gonna get it done. It's the bulldog again. And Zeppa, not happy about it. And unfortunately, he shouldn't be too happy about that either. Bustio able to get some value out of the sheriff. And I mean. Foxy are doing lots of damage, way more than I expected. Ping Fu comes up huge with two classic kills. That Bulldog has since been retrieved. Bustio will fall, and it's a Sheriff down. I don't know if Ping Fu's in any position to grab another weapon as this counterpart Floppy comes off the... <laughs> denies the Tailwind dash for Zeppa, and maybe not expecting... I wasn't expecting that, so you learn something new every day in this game of Valorant as that spike goes down. It's only that initial kill here that stands on the board. It's Pink Fu trying to find Zeta, who's playing flank watch themselves. Floppy kind of dancing around that 410 position. Yeah. Ustio hops on the board there, finding the kill, making things even, but they're running out of time here. That spike has been planted. The defender is now working against the clock, working against Leaf here, who's found three kills on the round, looking to close things out. And well, it was Ping Fu who snuck up and actually completely undetected. They're all running out towards screens. The pings were there. And I mean, obviously, unbeknownst to Ping Fu here, that could have been a ninja defuse. I don't know if there was time. And it had just kind of peeked away or went back to safety at the wrong time. Now, Mitch. Be the backup there for Leaf as he pushes onto the site. Sage for Sage, though, they all will fall and sugar free. Still alive, but only for a moment. And Zeppa, one the hop remaining. on the board. Floppy picks one on the flank. And I mean, the Vipers on the flank. Spike Name a better duo spike. here in this game as both of them traded out. And with the spike down, Pinkfu is going to opt in to use a Viper skip there. 6 8 he finds the first, but Zeppa's there to trade it out. And a heads up play. Could be their way on in on the Seeker stack. Zeta this time around to find that entry frag. That bug and make sure Leaf stays alive. Unfortunately, Sugar Free has other plans for the opposition. Is able to back away and look to play the retake. Knives online for both squads. Bushy able to find one. Find another. A couple of one taps with the knives. Looking for some more. It's Mitch to try and get things done in a 1v2 situation. The first kill to find the way. Now the classic coming out in a resurrection available. Reload will be heard. The wall looking to go up there. Bustio has the angle and a thrifty round for to do, and that's the A site. Yeah, you can kind of, you know, see the anomaly in the blade storm from Bustio in that last round. Now that it's not available, they go right back to it, and they're starting to get that value in it. Loud burst goes through. Zeppa trying to find some shots through. It's Mikey to come out on top. A resurrection swings the numbers even at this point, but Ezire. Not going to let it up just yet. Foxy with the player lead. A Resurrection and Hunter's Fury to work with themselves. Only have two members. Now to worry about Floppy. No that spike retrieves. Ain't able to find one. Finds the next. The shots are just on for Cloud9 Blue. And once more, it's all in the hands of Bustio. Who else but him to find it in the clutch, though? Utility to work with Spike yet to be committed. But Cloud9 Blue, they have time to work with. Trying to... Catch him out, make him consider rotation as a possibility, but he'll elude the dart. Maybe false sense of security for Cloud9 now on this site. What can Busio get done? Tailwind's up, so first duel could get isolated. The dash away is dangerous. Left. This might finally Five committed left. towards this a site. Peaks right. Other adaptation from Foxy. This time it's a sneaky stage. There's one top down, and Busio oh gets down. the first oh second. That's the spike down, Tanner. Damn. Bustio comes up huge. It's unfortunate now that Bustio taken off the board. Two kills were traded right back, so things are even. And those bodies kind of unattainable in tough spots to find that resurrection. One pushed up out towards 410. One underneath heaven just completely in the open. We'll see if Ezire desires to go for the res there. One for one once more as we're down to the last two. It's a Hunter's Fury for the post plant. 
It's a resurrection still available in Zeta. Well, this is his favorite corner to swing. And as he's there to come out on top, now the trade will follow. Ping Fu on the flank once more. The Viper goes four and a half. The Leaf so confident on this push up. And I mean, that's just kind of been the tail of the tape. It's been Zeppa and Leaf just running it down towards the A side, running it down in, in a positive light. Unfortunately, that was running it down a bit, just blindly walking on the opposite side of the toxic screen. Allows Mikey to find one kill and Floppy with their second on the round. Looking for the next. It's Bustio still alive and Bustio a problem. And a very familiar situation. I believe the same agents alive here in Mitch and Zeta. Same 1v2 situation. The boost over the wall, not wasting any time. A Hunter Shuri available. Shock Dart's going to go down first. They will land on top of the spike. And now, at Hunter Shuri, one tag should do it. Recon Bolt for the info. Shots on target. Now, Boostio just going to have to stick it at this point. Finds the shots on target once more. Unfortunately, out of time. Can't find the next. On a Hunter Shuri, nothing to come of it. Is Zeta going jet mode? Gets one. Shut down by Ezire. But... It's good space found. No, Mikey, still another advantage with Foxy, but C9 have a res. Res is right here. available and one used on the opposite end to bring Ping Fu back to that Viper online. That means the Viper's pit going to be back here. And what better time than the last round of the half to get that one down as Floppy falls. Sugar Free able to net that kill and top off there with the Devourer. Leaves it down to the last two. It's Mitch. It's Zeta. Uh, a familiar position, unfortunately. You know, they're familiar being the last two. It's usually not up against five. Now make it four. Mitch finds the first. The resurrection to come on through. The defense is there as well to make sure nothing happens. That body coming back up. Mitch over the top will find Mikey. Now they need to clear out the side and get the spike down. And Mitch just taking this spike round down. into his own hand. One, it's a 2v2. Two two. Make it a 1v2 as Ping Fu comes back up from the dead. We'll grab a couple of lives for himself. Now Zeta needs to retrieve left. the spike or win a 1v1 against Bustio who has been so hot here for Foxy in this first half. So very aware the spike's down in a weird position and Zeta wasting some time still needs to commit up the ropes to find this spike and even consider the plan. This will now be retrieved, but Bustio, really he's making his approach quickly. Yeah, Recon dart up, though. Should reveal. It's a fast push. Dash away, though. Bustio alive. Zeta on the chase. Look at the time. Nothing left. He needed to commit to the spike. And Bustio. The Top of that generator there. Spot a few heads. Unfortunately, no scope rifle means those shots are a bit harder to hit. And it was armor on four for Foxy as they push up towards the side. Bustio to find the first. The right click's going to go wide for another. But Ping Fu is there to finish that right kill here. off. Leaf is able to sneak one back in that wall. Here. You wish you had that one back. It's a tough spot to be in. But the spike will go down no less. Now from the high ground. Floppy will fall on the attacking side. Maybe starting to favor these teams here. As the pistol round is all up to Mitch. And to cut off Zeta's push in towards the A side as it's Mitch, the man to anchor. And looking for the kill. Just needs to stall here. No barrier orb available, unfortunately. Shock Dart going to go wide. 10 seconds remaining. on the clock. The kill starting to come through. The spike down on the one ground. Remaining. Now Sugar Free only has one to worry about, but he's not on the A site. So Foxy. And leave close angle. And unfortunately, Ezire peeking up at the dart, trying to take it down, will eventually fall. Leaf able to sneak away, but Sugar Free gonna hop on the porch. We'll find another. The flick is there for the Reina of Foxy. Looking for some more. Oh my goodness, is How? able to find it. The spray. It's random, but it works. Zeppa will fall with the spike planted. Foxy have a two-player advantage. It's Floppy. It's Mitch. It's now a one-player advantage. As Floppy found that first. Getting caught with the wall out as Mitch. They get closed out. And Foxy, well, they steal slow. They're expecting somebody to be watching this. As Lucio Peak, shots go wide. Resurrection comes through. They're trying to bait it, and they do it perfectly. Desire finds a kill on to Leaf. The resurrection on to Ping Fu. And Foxy once more find themselves player ahead. That spike trying to leave, trying to get out of dodge. And... I mean, that might be the kill to get it done. You find that Reyna, and you think, okay, that's the lurker. The rest of the team is pushing towards A. They are. Zeppa, though. The man to hold. Operator in hand. By ball keeps him safe for now. Cloudburst misses. Oh, and, oh the shot. So quick. Now, Foxy have man advantage. 
on. And this was, it was looking like a sugar-free Boostio show. Now it's looking like the Zeta show finding three, making it a 1v1. What did Zeta just do? He's iron with 30 HP, will eventually fall to floppy. Oh, and kind of some, some of the new tech that they've been working on. Icebox has been around. You got to switch it up oh for God. the next stage. And... That's exactly what Cloud9 are showing us as Lee finds one from downtown out towards an attacker sided spawn. So it's Cloud9 with a two player advantage. Make it three as Floppy finds one. Floppy finds two. It's five health. Not enough to take down the Sage. The spike will be planted with some extra credits nabbed for this Foxy roster, but it doesn't matter. The round to Cloud9 either way. Well, it was another one of these rounds where they slow down, let Busio do his job, and that's to just get frags. I think Busio almost let that round slip into the favor of Cloud9 with that overextension towards yeah. spawn side, because that earned Mitch the resurrection. That brought it into a 3v3. That forced them to use the Viper's Pit, and mm -hmm. almost forced them to use that Silva Ultimate to bail them. It would be perfect unless the Hunter Siri can shut it away. And a Hunter Shuri tag on the jet never feels good, but Lee limping away from a fight now towards the back of sight. Finds the first kill on Tabustio. Probably one of the most impactful frags you can have against this Foxy roster. Zeppa trades one out as well. Tries to get away, but Ping Fu is there to answer. 30 HP on the Reyna. The Empress is on. And a player advantage. Make it two for Cloud9 Blue. And Zeta going for some more multi kills. There's the double. Can he make it a triple? Ping Fu, the last one standing with four players to worry about. Leaf gonna be the first to peak. 70 health separates Foxy from losing the game here. And there it is. Floppy Defender. to close it out. And here's Floppy. Gonna delay the plant for a second. And it was delayed just enough for the rest of the Foxy squad to get on the side off the back end of a paranoia. But the kill start to swing the way of Cloud9 if you blink. So whether or not they'll be able to buy in the next. Should this round go the way of Foxy? And that's a great start by Bustio. It's traded right back and Sugar Free. Able to steal one away. Zeta not going for the multi-kill this time around. It's Sugar Free instead. The Reyna picks up two out towards mid. Dismisses away. Now very healthy. Are all four remaining on the side of Foxy? And it's up to Leaf and Mitch here in a 2v4 situation to try and get things done. Where are they going to work with this one? Not a ton of information for either camp here. So C9 Blue... We're going to have to isolate one of these duels quickly. A site being left for the retake. That's off the site for utility committed there. So C, maybe not the best call. There's an omen tucked in. One enemy remaining. Ping Fu holding. He has Spike the shot. Spike down. down. It's C. Mitch alone. Weapon right here. But Bucio, he might have just the best weapon possible. It's the Blade Storm. But the drone forces oh. him back and plucked from midair. It's Floppy with the rifle to find things. Site for utility being contended with. But is C9 going to commit this? Looks so. It's leaping quick. Oh, Leaf goes right into the trap wire. He's just going to stick it after finding a kill, forcing Sugar Free away. Nobody to answer, and Mikey goes over the top ropes there with the shock dart kill, stopping the plant and making this round a very winnable one for Foxy. Good lurk here from Mitch. He has to keep Mikey completely in this position. He's not even push pushing off of this, but he's forcing out a recon, buying so much time for the squad. So long as Mitch is alive, this retake feels not on. Oh my god. Okay. Well, <laughs> any direction. Sugar Free has since rotated back over towards A, so they know that given out all the information that they did, he might be the place to go. Sugar Free gonna find the first leap. Leap, leap, leaping on through the site. Zeppa gonna leap on top of the box as he shut down again, so you do not want to feel froggy in front of Sugar Free. He will stop you if you leap. 3v3 situation with the spike getting planted as I are still waiting to hop on the board here. He will have some help in that jet, bringing up the rear. Bustio going to have the operator in hand, looking to find an angle, but just nothing given up here by Cloud9. Yeah, both the flash agents are dead, so it's just this dark to initiate things. Ooh, dash on into Cloud first. They to find one by the next. Bustio can't find the Omen inside the Cyber Cage with the Showstopper. No way away from the rocket launcher there. Floppy falls. The spike to be delayed for a moment. Leaf still alive. The battle back for one. Shock darts tossed out both towards Garage. And towards the defender's side and spawn to stop the rotation. Spike goes down. This time, again, out towards the back of side. Deep in the corner. Mikey, the last one standing. Found a kill early in the round. Stack, and that means rounds can come cleanly. If they don't make mistakes as often, they're not throwing away things they shouldn't. And it works well for them. The aggression, well, that one's not going to work out when Mitch is on the scene. 
And I think that Hunter Shiri, yeah. it had the trajectory. It just didn't have the distance. It could have found yeah. a couple of tags. And Mikey just playing a bit too far back with this one. Too much respect, even in that manner. Floppy finds another on the round leap. Tosses out the paint kills to stop push through a link. Zeppa's able to get one through the dark cover. Now Mikey needs to be careful. Creeping through themselves. Able to spot the cross. Now Zeta trying to get in on it as Mikey finds one. Gets traded out and Bustio in a familiar spot. The last one alive here for Foxy. With an operator though. It's a whole lot harder to find these kills. One away from the blade storm, and it's a classic from Leaf to come out on top. Eight to and it's C9 up towards C. Oh, <laughs> Not again! No! The second time this series <laughs> that we see Zeppa completely swatted away by the owl drone. Let it be known. Uh, do not dash behind the drone. Or it will not go your way. A nice recon bolt gets the ping onto Ping Fu. With Bucio comes around with the knives. Unfortunately, not going to find his target. It's Zeta out on top. A couple of kills traded back, though. And now it's all up to Floppy. Neural theft used here for the information. If everything they need, does Floppy have everything he needs? Finds the first low HP for the next. And it's sugar free. Vandal in hand to get Foxy back on the board. Time around is to play towards A for Cloud9 Blue. No longer trying to hit that C side. And I mean, a, a flank is eminent here. Sugar free all the way up towards mid. The first kill swings the way of Cloud9. Exactly it's Mitch who picked that one up. And Zeppa on the site. The neural theft gives so much information. So they're all spotted out. Zeta trying to play around the box here. Lear goes through. And sugar free. Unknown for just a second. Maybe here's that footstep. Zeta trying to find the angle, but a lot closer than you're expecting and zeta still comes out on top waiting for some more not gonna find it as the rest of the team bringing up the rear from this heaven position bustio finds two able to dash onto the site not gonna bust the ankles there will get spotted out by some of that sova utility and the kills continue to swing the way of cloud nine and it's zeta again and very scary for this foxy squad and well with the judge in hand it's a whole lot scarier you know exactly what that can do. Shots on target. Able to find it through the wall. Floppy and the spike will both fall. As the flank no comes way. through. The distance is there. Ping Fu gets it done once more. Paranoia to try and buy some space. Trying to play around the back of the site while the rest of the team rotates. Mikey does get pinged out by the drone. A 1v2 situation. We'll see what Zeppa can get here. It's a kill on a Bustio. Now needs to be wary to play her out towards grass. It's sugar free and Zeppa gets it done. Two kills. To cut this down to a 2v2 situation. Still a judge to worry about in some close angles. To get up towards that spike. Ping Fu gonna go wide on that. And Mikey now in a 1v1. Zeta needs to continue to be the lifeline. Is running out of time. It's 3 HP. It's 10 seconds. And it's Zeta on top for a 10 to 2 half. Uh, Sheriff kill earlier on another thrifty round for Foxy. So just being able to do the best with the, the worst. What feels like or the least. As Pistol Round has kicked off, back and forth we go to find ourselves in a 3v3. It's Zeta, though. Once more to take Bustio off the board. Ping Fu close to finding a kill onto Floppy and is able to do that. Mikey through the wall and Zeta getting a, a taste of his own medicine there. Mitch playing over towards that A side. Going to take the long way around out towards C, which is exactly where that spike is headed. There's always been a trip here, so he knows no one can be playing from long unless they've been there the entire time. So he should be suspicious of both playing on site, Spike coming down, and Mitch spots the first. And now gets so much info there, right? Spots one player, the other one obviously getting that Spike down. Now needs to find a way to play around the 1v2 situation. Owl Drone coming out, should find the tag, looking to take the fight right to Pink Fu. But I mean... Giving up the C site completely, trying to play retake here. This is that eco round, so trying to find something off the stack, and unfortunately, doesn't go their way. Paranoid goes through, Zeppa gonna follow. Pink Fu tagged out, and there's another frenzy kill. No way the pistols get this done. It's a two for two, but Foxy in the driver's seat should still be able to win this one. But as I said, it's all down to Mikey. It's a thrifty round for Cloud9. Clear goes out. A tag. No, the drone actually going to go I wide on the tag, me, as are the shots. Both Mitch and Zeta to fall on the C side. It's three players to try and retake now for Cloud9 Blue. And, well, Bustio has other plans for this squad. One kill, the right click, swings the way up the knives. Floppy comes leaping around the corner. And if it was Sugar Free, it would have been the kill. But because it was Bustio, leaping is A-OK -okay to find the frags. Now a 2v4. 
Seeing Cloud9 do it before, dashing a bit too far out of the Cloud Burst. Leaves it all up to Floppy, who's pinched on the site. Mikey will close out the last two, Fox. Out for Garage and out towards the site. Data spots the feet of Pink Fu, and the shots come from behind the drone. So they knew where Sugar Free was playing. They're able to find that kill. Zeppa gonna get a bit too aggressive, and will meet the same fate as Sugar Free early in this round. Unfortunately for Pink Fu, a bit worse for wear, lower in the HP department after the early duels and well now zeroed out in the HP department. As Zeta finds that kill, is he gonna be able to take down the recon bolt? And not a whole lot of information to gain there as you already knew the Sova was on the site. It's a 3v4 situation. It's Foxy to play with one ultimate to the three of Cloud9 in the A site. To be the destination here. Lee finds one. He's Iris there to trade it back. So it's still a player advantage. But it's going to be the recall here for the Foxy squad as they head to another site. Not much time to work with. I'm not sure if they even have the opportunity to take this all the way towards C. But they are trying for it. Should have the time. But remember that cam setup. Remember the retake setup in this one. Might not even come to that. Because there's a Hunter's Fury up available. Eight the cam will find the info. And Hunter's Fury can check this down. Ten seconds left. Hey, you just, you really have to send it. You have to plant in an awkward spot, too. He's going to come off for the first. Looking to go back for the next. It's Mikey to find the kill. And, yep, that's it. Spike goes down. His ire dies. Cloud9 Blue, they push themselves. In. And, yeah, there it is. Leaf connects. No, great updraft from Bustio. Sugar free, though, as the shutdown on the floppy. Through the wall once more. It's an eco round. Cloud9, and they're going to try and grab whatever they can. Mitch to find the first. Zeta hops on the board. Oh, not, not like this. this. Cloud9, another thrifty on the docket. The spike is planted. The remaining two forced away. Neural theft for the information as Pinkfu goes up into heaven. Now spotted out, trying to find Zeppa. Hunter sure going to find a remaining kill here as it's all up to Zeta. 19 health and a dream. Running out of time. Tosses out. Recon Bolt has the information, goes for the defuse. It's in an interesting spot, can look to go halfway, not going to find the shot. So, line of 13 8 in that iced box loss. And I really like the play there from Ping Fu. He was about to get overwhelmed by the pistol players of Cloud 9, but he also away, takes position toward and trap wire taken down. So, presence known out towards. It's mid area, right outside that B site. Sugar Free gonna be the first to fall. Zeta to find another. Both duelists now taken down as Cloud9. They're done playing around here on Haven. They want to close this one out, and they were just giving some false hope over to Foxy. The tag on the C site. Mitch gonna look to push out towards mid. Remaining three from Foxy. They're gonna try and hold it down on C. See what they can get done here. Posturing for the retake is good. Two players already working on that flank, and Zeta to punish aggression. Oh, they're not even checking on the flank. Leaf gets one. Spike put it to nine, and now look at Zeta. It's his time to shine, but Pinkfu fights out. Gives a chance. Oh, and Mitch does it again. A two-player spray down on the